Hi everyone, this is Sean for PDF Exchange, and today we're gonna to look at the free features that anyone can avail of in PDF Exchange Editor by going to the product page linked in the description below this video and downloading and installing the software. As you can see on the product page, which is available here, go to the main website, then go to PDF Exchange Editor. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, all the features are listed at the bottom here. You can click free features and you can see that well over 200 free features are available with the PDF Exchange Editor. And you can see a breakdown of all of them there. And it's also worth noting that all features are available in the PDF Exchange Editor, but if you use the license features, then demo watermarks will be added to the document and they can only be removed with a licensed version of the software. So if you're experimenting with an unlicensed version of the software, please ensure you make copies of any important documents before using the license features on them. So the first very simple free features that we can look at with PDF Exchange Editor is simply the ability to open and view PDF documents. There are a range of options for determining how you want to view documents, which are these ones down here. So we've got single page at a time, we can go single page continuous where it scrolls, or two pages at a time, or two pages continuous where we'll just scroll as we saw before. And there's also some options in the view tab here. Um, for example, the split screen, we can go horizontal split, vertical split, spreadsheet split. And uh, there are many other uh, viewing options and other little tricks you can use simply to uh, customize and determine how you want to view documents. Another nice free feature is the read out loud feature which we can get to using the select text tool. And then we select the text we want to read out loud, and right click it, then we just click read out loud and start reading. After the well of Osiris, visitors pass into one or... So as far as the creation of documents is concerned, you can create new blank PDF documents. Quite simply, just go to a new document. And as you can see here, these features are licensed. Uh, if you're combining files or making a PDF portfolio and using these various options to create new files other than from your scanner, which is another free feature, and uh, with blank pages, which is just creating a new blank PDF. So you can just create a new blank document and start editing it and using it as you wish. And if you want to create PDF documents from other formats, for example, Microsoft Word documents, you can simply open them in PDF Exchange Editor and the conversion will take place automatically. So for example, we've got this uh, end user license agreement here for PDF Exchange Editor. So we close that and then we go file, open, and we open from the file it's kept in or the folder. And we'll see it'll open right away in PDF Exchange Editor and it'll just be converted immediately to PDF format. And that also is the case with images. You can open them in PDF Exchange Editor and they'll be converted right away to a PDF. Another nice free feature in PDF Exchange Editor is the ability to edit text. So if we've got some existing text, we can just go in and edit it and format it as we desire. There are a few different options for doing that. We can make it bold, we can change the size and the font and everything else. And that's all free, but it's important to note that that's for editing existing text only. If you try to add new text to, the, to documents, then uh, that will be counted as using a license feature and that will add the demo watermarks to documents. You can also use the find feature just to search for text as desired. And it will find it right here. Another nice free feature in the PDF Exchange Editor is the ability to add images to documents. So in order to do that, you just go to Add, Add Image, and then you drag the location where you want the image to go, and then you select it from the folder it's kept in, and you can click to add it as a content item or as a stamp. So in this case, we're gonna go for content item, and we'll add the image right there. OCR is another uh, very popular feature with PDF Exchange Editor. Most of the OCR features are licensed features, but there are some that are free and available to use for free in PDF Exchange Editor. So in, in order to do that, we just go to the snapshot tool and then we determine the area that we want to OCR. 
we right click in and we click OCR selected region. We determine these settings as required. We're just going to do auto accuracy and language in English. It'll perform OCR right away. Another set of features that are very popular in the free version of the software are the commenting tools, which are all detailed in the comment tab here. So as you can see, we've got the typewriter tool, text box, call out, and all these other tools that all add different types of comments to PDF documents. The shape tools, uh, the shape commenting tools add different shapes, and these are all used for different things in uh, PDF documents. And the comments are an integral part of working with PDF documents, and they are included in the International Organization for Standardization's definition of what is permitted in PDF documents. So they come in a range of different sizes and uses, such as the various shape comments, but also the comments that enable the adding of content to documents, such as the text box tool and the commenting features available for adding highlights, strikeouts, and underlines to text, which we can have a look at quickly here. So we've got, say for example, we want to update this text, we can add underlines as desired, and this is all totally customizable. Now we can go to properties and we can change these uh, to whatever style we want to use. And this is the strikeout, just for striking out text. And uh, this is the highlights. So these are the, the default colors that we're seeing for the bottom two, but as with the underlines, they can be changed as desired. And the text box tool is another useful tool that we can use just for adding notes to documents. And the call out tool is a similar to the text box tool, but it also features an arrow that if we grab, we can use to highlight various areas of the document or whatever we want to do. And as with the other commenting tools, this has uh, a huge range of customizable options. Another useful tool in PDF Exchange Editor is the link tool, which you can use to add links to your documents as required. So, for example, we want to put a link right here, and we can add a whole load of different options. We can make it run in JavaScript, go to a page in the document, go to a page in another document, or in a better document, and all these other options um, that you can use as you need when you're when you're adding links to documents. So, for example, go for a web link this time. We'll put it in the Tracker Software website. We we'll click OK, and then when we click this uh, link now, um, and then it will go right to the website. Similarly, you can also add barcodes to documents for a whole range of different uses. Um, we'll just look at the QR code quickly. So say, for example, we want to add uh, a barcode to documents that uh, can be read by compatible devices such as smartphones. Um, we can enter the information here and the barcode will update accordingly and then we can click place and then the barcode goes into the document. There are also a range of options for connecting PDF Exchange Editor to your cloud storage. So we can see all of these places, box.com, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive and SharePoint. Uh, you, if you have accounts in those cloud locations, you can connect PDF Exchange Editor to them and then upload documents to and from those locations and edit them on your local machine. In addition to the commenting tools, there's also the stamp tool, which you can use to add a whole different range of um, stamps to documents. So uh, obviously this one is for approving documents, but there's a whole load of other default stamps available. And in addition to those, uh, you can also create your own stamps using the stamps palette. So you go add new stamp and add new stamp from file, and you can create a customized stamp as desired using your own images or text or whatever you want to use. And uh, a new feature that we added recently is the ability to add custom stamps. So you get a blank canvas here, and then you can add the comments as we've seen already to your stamp. Um, and you can do a whole range of other things like uh, adding a counter to, uh, to documents. So this counter will automatically update every time the stamp is used in a document, which uh, is useful in, in various different contexts. 
We can also use a, a template for stamps if we want to add a template before we start building a stamp or during, during the building up a stamp. As you can see, there's a whole range of options. So let's go with this one. And then we can update the stamp from there uh, as we see fit. And we can use this option to add text to your custom stamps as desired. Now we can use this option here to add images to our custom stamps. So we'll again just use the editor icon and it's going to go in here. So obviously the stamp is a little bit scrappy. You can spend better time with it and create a, a nice custom stamp for whatever use you want to have. And then you just click add stamps and my custom stamp target collection. Yeah, we don't have one. So we'll just go new collection. Okay. And then we can see it's right here ready to use and we can add it to the document as we like. And we see the counter updating there as we continue adding the stamp. So that's about all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video on the free features available in PDF Exchange Editor and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.